6.30 in the morning. Hear some birds chirping. Gonna get a morning workout in. Let's go. All right, so in the kitchen, got about five, 10 minutes to kill waiting on the gym buddy to get here. So I'm just gonna quickly get a snack in. Um, sometimes I like lifting on an empty stomach. I feel like my meals are uh, close enough together and I eat enough in a day that I can get away with that once in a while. Um, no pre-workout because I don't take it every day. Um, but I think I'm just gonna have a little snack. I heard my stomach grumbling. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna have that feeling in the gym. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly get a snack. And I'll show you a perfect pre-workout snack. My guys, so literally could not give you any simpler. I'm gonna have a banana. I'm gonna have an apple. And I'm gonna have a single piece of bread with Got my snack in. Say bye to the little puppy baby. I see you in a bit, Shad Potter. We be jamming after. So here's the here's the shitty thing about living in southern Ontario. Any day, I don't care what month it is, it could be warm, it could be cold, it could be snowing, it could be raining. It's one of the charming things. I got my shorts on. It's one of the charming things about Ontario, but it can also be kind of annoying. Hey, it's LL Cool JD. What's up, buddy? Ladies love cool. <laughs> Jazz Dave. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> In England, it's like you do back and, bi back and biceps. You do legs, you do uh, chest and triceps, and then that's it, right? That's pretty much it. That's all. Yeah, it. so that makes sense. <laughs> that combines it. Hey, the whole squad is here. Hi. We're an england yeah. guest, what's the guest? Are you, are you fucking mad, bruv? Are you taking a piss? <laughs> it's different. You're taking the piss is very different. Um, it seems like a jog. Doesn't really mean it, you know? Doesn't seem like you're really worried about the piss being taken. <laughs> Just saying it. I just got booked. I got booked hard. <laughs> All right, so we're here. We've made the commute. It's gonna be an upper body uh, workout, a lot of supersets. Excited. We're gonna start off with the close grip bench press. And we'll superset with some high rows. And then we're gonna get into a giant set and I'll show you what that is. Shortly. Danny! <laughs> <laughs> Finishing up this upper body workout. I think we got it done in about, uh, what, 40 minutes? An hour, about an hour. Go post-workout cardio. Play a little basketball. And here's the beauty of going to the gym with uh, workout buddies or partners. You can play certain games, so we can obviously play American to get some cardio in. 
But I think today what we're gonna end up doing is shoot free throws. Each of us shoots 10 for every free throw we miss. We run the length of the court. So uh, just a good way to, it's a good way to trick your mind, getting some high intensity cardio without actually looking at the treadmill, staring at the treadmill, and then getting tired whenever you see certain increments like 10 minute, 15 minute marks. Instead you could easily play like a half hour basketball and not even know it. And if you're competitive, when you get into it, that much better because you'll actually use some more force and get a better workout in. So a successful upper body workout in the books. Some high intensity cardio, some sprints. That's time to go home and get some good eats. Post-workout meal consisting of high protein, starchy carbs, and a healthy amount of fats. All right, so we're back home. Just gonna quickly survey the field see what we got today i think i'm gonna go with the hash browns with four fried eggs and i'll get a handful of almonds because you need almonds almonds for some healthy fats